Hi, this is Mark Toll from mirrorlessphototips.com. Today we're going to do something a little bit different from my blog post. We're going to actually make a lens. I've been recommending uh, pancake lenses for years and using them ever since they came out and spending a fortune on them and decided that why can't I just make my own? I was eating breakfast one morning when the idea came to me and I thought I'd give it a try and make a video about it. So I was going to do one of those fancy unboxing videos about the uh, about the potential lenses. The uh, Aunt Jemima, you get 12 to a package. They're basically buttermilk pancakes, just like mom used to make. I'm not very good in the kitchen, so we're using the frozen ones. You get about 12 for $3, so potentially we could save a fortune on lenses here. Um, what I've done is, besides the fact I opened them up and uh, started eating some of them, I have my GX7 with its lens attached. I have a uh, pancake, still semi-frozen. I thought it might be a little bit easier that way. And what I've done is I've taken a lens shade to cut the lens to the size I need. So I'm going to use this as a template, sort of like a cookie cutter. I'm going to push this down into the pancake. And the most amazing thing happens. The pancake fills the the holder. So, and this is almost the perfect size to go on the front of the camera. So, now I know what you're thinking. Okay, so let me get rid of let me get rid of the uh, the telltale uh, pancake here. Now, what I want to do so so the idea now is to make it sort of like a, a pinhole pancake lens. I know there's been others, so I'm not going to take uh, credit for being that original in this, but I think it's the first time it's made with a real pancake. So I'm going to use a, a basically a barbecue skewer since I am here in the kitchen. I'm not being particularly careful to be in the center here. I'm punching a very clean hole into the pancake lens as close to the center as I can get. Okay, I'm going to take the lens off of my GX7. Now, this fits almost perfectly on here. I haven't quite figured out how to attach it yet. I figure I'll, I'll work that out if I see if the pictures come out. So uh, basically now I'm going to go out, try a few pictures with this, and basically just hold it in place here and shoot. Now remember, you have to go into the menu system and turn on shoot without lens in order to use a lens that doesn't have sensors on the back like our handmade pancake lens. Now the beauty of this is, as we're out shooting, and this defrosts and changes, we'll get different pictures, and then we can also feed it to the birds and uh, come home and make a new one. So anyways, give this a try at home. Uh, don't blame me if it doesn't work. Talk to you soon. Thanks for listening.